Hello everyone, it's Kevin, and thank you so much for joining me today. This is the start of a series of videos that is meant to be more conceptual in nature. It's not a step-by-step -step tutorial, but instead a higher level overview, meant to give you an understanding of important components in Moonbeam. We'll start today by covering addresses and private keys. Then I'll introduce the concept of wallets and seed phrases. Let's go over what an address is conceptually. An address can be thought of as a locking mailbox at your apartment or home. Anyone who knows your specific address can deposit mail in the box, but only a person who has the key can access what's inside. So an address is a 42 character string that begins with 0x. Additionally, addresses are unique. Nobody else has the same address as you. Otherwise, it would be like sharing a bank account with somebody you didn't know. Secondly, your transaction history is public. If you give someone your address, they can look it up on Moonscan or another blockchain explorer and see your entire history of transactions for that account. They can see the amount of funds you have, who sent you funds, who you sent funds to, they can see everything. Finally, Moonbeam uses the same addresses as Ethereum. So if you already have an Ethereum address from a wallet such as MetaMask, you can use that same address on Moonbeam. The terms address and account are synonyms and you'll frequently hear both. In MetaMask, you can always find your address at the top of the window, and you can copy the address by clicking on it. Next, let's talk about private keys. A private key is a 64 character string that corresponds to a particular address. This private key allows you to sign transactions that are then accepted by the blockchain. In other words, it gives you full access to transfer all the funds that are stored in that account. You should never share your private key with anyone. So with each private key corresponding to a single account, what happens if you want to maintain multiple accounts? That's where wallets come in. Wallets, such as MetaMask, help you manage multiple accounts with ease. A wallet holds a user's private key and corresponding public key for each account. Most wallets today have support for multiple accounts and thus hold multiple private keys. Wallets allow you to sign transactions. In other words, spend funds and interact with smart contracts. MetaMask is the most popular wallet available as both a browser extension and a mobile application. Moonbeam is 100% compatible with MetaMask. You can easily switch between your different accounts in MetaMask by clicking on the circle in the upper right hand corner and switching to a different account. If you create multiple accounts in MetaMask, does that mean that you need to start writing down a bunch of different private keys? First of all, you can if you really want to. You can write down each and every private key corresponding to each of your accounts. But fortunately, there is an easier way. And that's where seed phrases come in. A seed phrase, also known as a secret recovery phrase, is an ordered list of 12 to 24 words that automatically generate all of the private keys to your accounts in a wallet. A seed phrase, in other words, gives you full access to the funds in every single account in that wallet. The order in which those words are arranged is very important. If you reverse or forget any of the words, you're your seed phrase will be invalid and you'll lose all your funds. Seed phrases are easier to write down than private keys and they help to minimize the error prone process of writing down a private key. Next, let's talk about how a seed phrase works conceptually. You can think of a seed phrase to a wallet as being similar to the master password on a password manager. If you have the master password, you can unlock access to all of the stored passwords, or in this case, all of the crypto assets stored in the various accounts in that wallet. With a single seed phrase, you can create a virtually unlimited number of private keys. Remember that each private key corresponds to a single account, so managing your accounts with a seed phrase massively simplifies the process, instead of having to juggle multiple private keys. Remember that each account can hold a variety of crypto assets, so with a single seed phrase, you can manage many different assets simultaneously across multiple accounts. Remember, never share your seed phrase or private keys. That concludes this video on accounts and keys in Moonbeam. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to reach out to us in our Discord if you have any questions. We're happy to help you. Thank you.